efficient grading options, I came across the blog of Laura Randazzo. And this is her website right here. But currently, I'm on Solutions for the Second Grade Classroom, and we're looking for the solution to Scantron problems. Um, we all know that when you put something through a Scantron, we assume that it's going to give us the correct grading. But who hasn't had a kid come up and tell them, hey, I got this right, and then you have to go back and fix it or regrade them all by hand. And that's no fun, and it's certainly not saving us any time. So um, Laura suggests that we use something called ZipGrade, and I've looked into it, and it's really awesome. So I'm going to scan down here. This is what the ZipGrade app looks like right here. And then she delineates six reasons why. And I've actually gone through them and I'm going to show you a video of how fast it is. But her number one reason is speed. And it's super, super fast. Um, the second one is accuracy. Unlike the Scantron machine, ZipGrade allows us to review each question one at a time. Um, even if the students have made a smear mark, they're not accidentally miscounted. And you can go back, it's so fast that you can fix it easily. The next is convenience. Um, the answer key documents are free. You don't have to pay for them like we do our Scantron forms. Um, so the first thing you could do is go straight to the ZipGrade website and it offers a 20 question format, a 50 question format, and a 100 question format. And you can download them all for free. You can also customize it. So say you have 56 questions, you can customize it. Um, but Laura also has given us some options of even further paper saving and money saving by putting two 50 question answer sheets together. And it doesn't matter the size. You could do this yourself if you want to have a random number like 43 and then convert it into an image and put them together. But Laura's already done the 250s, or we could use the two 100 questions for a final. And they're right here at her website at lrandazzo.files.wordpress.com. But as you can see, there's two hundreds right next to each other, and the ZipGrade app doesn't care how big it is. So the way it's going to identify it is by the student ID numbers. And at Lakeside, we can actually use our student ID numbers. It doesn't matter. So once you put in, or once you scan in the student ID number, it's automatically going to tell you um, who the student is. So let's go back. Um, the third reason that Laura gives is convenience, and it really, really is convenient. Next is that fun. The kids really do think it's super cool when you can just zap their answer sheets with your phone. And I'm going to show you how that works in a second. The next is storage. You can save all of this and send it in PDF version straight to your email account or keep it on your phone in the app. The next thing you can do is similar to what I've shown you on Socrative.com, which is item analysis. You can literally go item by item and see what the kids have gotten incorrect and then go back and use it as um, a way to inform your teaching for the following week and go ahead and review that those informations any trouble spots um, here's the deal the app itself is free um, but it only includes a hundred scans per month so if you've got all five periods filled and each one has our max at 38 you will go over the 30, um, I'm sorry, the 100 scans per month. However, we can just pay $6.99 for a year and get unlimited scanning. Um, I really think that if you are not ready to make the jump to Socrative.com, that transferring over from the Scantron machine for 7 bucks is no big deal. And we might be able to ask Shauna if we can get this paid for for our department. So just don't take your grading home. You can do it right there. Um, okay, I'm going to show you a video right now of how easy and fast ZipGrade really is.